Okay guys, about an hour in and uh, after finding a whole buttload of clad, got a couple quarters, a few nickels, and a bunch of pennies. I mean, it's just unbelievable how many pennies I've dug. Finally got my first silver. Got a 41 Merc. So, alright. Let's see if we can dig some more. See you in a bit. Hey, what's up guys? It's the next day, but I'm back at the same permission here behind George's house and uh, first target both days was a good one Got me a weedy 49 I'm hunting here what would have been behind the back side of the old house that was tore down so Hopefully we can find some more coinage Maybe a couple nice older relics too. It'd be cool but, uh, All right Catch you on the next. Okay, guys. I'm going to need some help on this. I have no idea. Whatever it is, it is heavy. And I took the wire brush to it. It looks like a box of some sort. Looks like it opened. So, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to try to pry that open. Looks like that might have been a couple hinges on this side. I, I just have no idea. But uh, we're going to further investigate this. It's not opening now. It's rusted shut. But, but it will open, I think. So, okay. We'll check it out later. See ya. Okay, guys. Move back here towards the alley a little bit. And this area right here is unbelievable. I don't know if this was a garden and someone was trying to keep slugs out or what. That's what George and I think. He's he's walked around back here and just surface found 30 or 40 pennies. And I'm not kidding you, I just dug a, a weedy, 48 I think. But there's gotta be a penny every six inches in this area back here. It's insane. I guess when I get bored I'll come over here and just clean them up but it's unreal I think I'll end up with quite a few weeds uh, they're all different years so I don't know if somebody just was tossing them out here or what but, I mean I've probably dug between the front part of the lot out by the sidewalk and back here around where the back side of the house would have been um, I've probably dug 40 pennies already we'll, we'll count them when I get home I might not have that many but it sure seems like it so all right we'll catch you later hey right, what's up guys just got done with a oh hour and a half two hour hunt but uh <laughs> found so many pennies I just thought I'd show you a little bit of my drive on the way home and uh, show you some of the fall colors. It's getting pretty around here. But today was awful windy, and uh, we can catch a couple more of those here in the next week or two, and all these leaves will be gone. <laughs> but uh, still, love the fall colors. Okay guys, quick wrap up here. Ended up figuring out what this was with a little help from George. And if you look real close, well you can see it better on this side once I cleaned it up real good. That is an old lock. It's a mortise lock. See the, uh, that would have been the latch there. And this would have been where your handle went right here and this would have been your skeleton key probably so it's hard telling he said they haven't put those in doors for 60 plus years so it's hard telling when it's from it's probably the original back door lock on the on the house that was built in 1880 
So that was pretty neat. I got all excited. I thought it was some kind of box at first before I really got it cleaned up to where you could see it. Once it dried off, you could see the keyholes real well. But uh, because of this here, it looks like a lid. But I was wondering why it wasn't ringing up like iron. And I'm guessing all the innards are probably brass or some, something of that nature. But different different kind of metal because it was ringing up high but uh anyways can you guess how many pennies i dug yep about 62 good mix of copper and zinc in there so uh i don't know i think that house was demolished because it was condemned so there might have been they might have been inside and when they spread it all out with a dozer they, they just got scattered all over the yard or someone was maybe throwing them out there I don't know but I haven't even begun to scratch the surface I'm gonna guess just the amount of area that I've done and the amount of pennies that I've dug and uh, I'm gonna estimate somewhere between we're gonna find close to five dollars in pennies out there <laughs> so that's pretty crazy but uh Oh, get out of here, buddy. He's all sedated because it's cold out. But there's the uh, mercury dime. Let's see if we can get to where you can see the date. It's a 41. Love the mercury dimes. They clean up really nice. And I found two eats, a 48 and a 46, I believe. And two dimes. These were all, all the clab was out by the sidewalk. Three nickels and two uh, quarters. I thought I had three quarters. I might have lost one or maybe I only dug two. I don't know. That wasp is all over me. But then I uh, found these two keys. So I think that might have been like an ignition key to something. And then probably just a house key, garage key, something like that. And then uh, cleaned up the ring a little bit. And there's nothing on the inside. It's obviously it's plated or something because it's got a little pitting there. So it's probably gold plated. It's not real heavy either. But I don't know about the stone. I, I'm sure they're not real diamonds, but that middle stone might be a ruby. I don't know. The settings are open on the back, so... I know a lot of times when the settings are open, the stones are real. But <clears throat> it's hard telling. Probably not. But uh, anyways, nice little ring. Still in pretty decent shape. So, well, that's about it. I'm going to keep pounding that place and digging pennies, and hopefully when we get all those cleared out, we can maybe catch some silver coins somewhere. It's obviously never been detected, so there's got to be silver in the ground somewhere. But we'll uh, keep you updated on how it goes. So I'm up to 62 pennies now. I'm going to keep a, keep a tally on that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.